Welcome to Pluralsight. You're watching the module Managing Extreme I.O. So now let's get into the management functions of the Extreme I.O. cluster. So there really is no tuning or configuration of the underlying storage necessary. It's all very simple. Uh, there's just like one big pool of disks that you're carving up. You don't have to worry about RAID groups. You don't have to worry about stripe sizes. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. If you have four bricks in your cluster, you just have four times as much capacity to play with. So you can just carve them up as you see fit, and you'll see that in the lab. We basically tell it what size volume we want to present to the host, a couple of, of settings and notifications, and then we just go and uh, give it to the host. So it's actually very, very simple. Let's talk about a few common tasks that we're going to go over in the lab. First, creating new LUNs. Within the Extreme I.O., uh, it's referred to as volumes, but almost all storage admins uh, you know, use the word LUN for this, or the term LUN, and that's what we'll do. So when we're carving up a volume, we're basically carving up a LUN that we will present to a host as storage. We will add fiber channel initiators. We'll also look at how to add iSCSI initiators. Uh, that way the um, system recognizes your host and you can zone them, properly, zone them properly and give the right host access to the right volumes. We'll configure the iSCSI target, assign the IP address, and show the configuration there. We'll look at monitoring performance, which we saw in the last lab, but we'll take a look at it again. And we'll look a little bit at server-side integration. And I'm not going to get too deep into this, mainly because uh, as you present storage across Fiber Channel or iSCSI, it's basically the same from the host side. We'll do a demo with vSphere. What I do recommend that you do is look at the user guide for your version of the Extreme I.O. software. It makes a lot of recommendations and setting change um, recommendations for the different operating systems, Windows, Linux, vSphere, uh, with more coming. I don't get into that in these lessons because they change. Uh, these things are kind of constantly in motion now that Extreme I.O. is kind of going through a revision process for the software. In fact, uh, one example of this is, you know, the documentation says set vSphere multipathing for round robin, but we were just told to look at changing that to fixed. And don't take that as a recommendation either. Look at the uh, user guide and the OS section with your version of Extreme I.O. So I won't get too deep into that, but I will show you connecting to it from a vSphere host. So now let's go to the lab. In the lab, we're going to create some new lines. We'll add a fiber, channel, fiber Channel and iSCSI Initiators. We'll go ahead and configure the iSCSI Target. We'll look at monitoring performance, and we'll connect to the storage from a vSphere host. So with that, let's jump on over. <laughs> 